Council of Medical Research, which is uh, completing 108 years of service to the nation yesterday. We started with the, in 1918, with the Beriberi Inquiry and the Quinine and Malaria Inquiry, and in 1938, the Malaria Survey of India, and in 1942, the Kala Azar cycle was, uh, the parasite was documented by the Indian Council of Medical Research. We Initiated in 1959, the domiciliary treatment for tuberculosis and the oral polio vaccine trial was started first time in 1963. And then we broke the myth of protein energy malnutrition with indigenous low-cost calorie supplements and oral rehydration therapy in the 1970s. And in 1986, we scientifically had India's first documented test tube baby and, and, and the, the story continues. And in this year, we were able to contain the Nipah and the Zika virus, which are deadly viruses and are on the WHO blueprint for deadly viruses. And we were able to develop an indigenous rapid diagnostic test, which gives results in two hours, and we were able to screen thousands and therefore quell the panic. We were able to release uh, the white paper on nicotine, uh, on e-nicotine, and that led to the ban of the electronic nicotine uh, dispersant systems which is still a problem in the US and the United Kingdom. We have passed the surrogacy bill uh, and the assistive reproductive technology bill this year is being tabled in the House in the Parliament uh, next week. We have been part of the global burden of disease and we have led the global burden of disease uh, from the ICMR led by evidence and we have shown that uh, the non-communicable diseases are on the increase and more so in the less developed states. And the under five mortality is falling in India since 1990, but many districts need to do better. And, and because of that, we have also been able to establish, uh, by this evidence, we are now establishing two new national centers. One is the center of One Health and Zoonosis, and the second is a center for eliminable diseases and how, once we eliminate, how we're going to follow up. So, from our family of ICMR, our strengths are that we have 26 national institutes, 106 virus research laboratories, multidisciplinary research units, and the rural research units. They all work together, and we can see at the map of India 
4,000 kilometers north to south and 4,000 kilometers east to west. They work on virology, bacteriology, epidemiology, uh, drugs, vaccines, and, and try to have been helping the nation's health since 1911, as I mentioned. Now we are going global, and we are having partnerships and collaboration and cooperation, and we have recently embarked on a research platform, which is a regional enabler for Southeast Asia research collaboration for health for emerging and re-emerging diseases, and that is ICMR and India looking east. And we also have the ICMR African Union platform where we have uh, health practitioners and researchers capacity building scheme, which we have uh, done in more than 15 countries in Africa. Now, our research is at ICMR is to ensure uh, good health for, for the millions, and therefore we have developed uh, a standard treatment workflow and many of the people who are on the editorial board for that standard treatment workflow are in this room, which will be released today. Uh, and we have the National List of Essential Medicine and Diagnostics. We have been able to, uh, because India is now moving towards universal health coverage and we have a single payer system, uh, we will, and we are envisaging to have a single payer system. So the health technology assessment is another scheme that is uh, being run by the Department of Health Research and the Indian Council of Medical Research to support Ayushman Bharat. And we have the CEO of Ayushman Bharat, uh, Dr. Indu Bhushan, sitting here. Uh, thank you so much. And we've also been running the last mile program for disease elimination, and that is for, obviously, for tuberculosis, AIDS, malaria, Kalazar, leprosy, and filariasis. And for that, we have embarked on the largest ever prevalence study for tuberculosis. A half a million patients are being screened by for tuberculosis by state-of-the-art digital x-ray and immediate uh, reporting and, and the CBNAT machine for molecular diagnostics, and that is in 20 states of India. So together with the North and the South, we can work to re do research, to innovate, and to partner. More importantly, for pharmaceutical products, and we have an icon of the pharmaceutical products, Dr. Kiran Mazumdar, sitting in the audience, who uh, developed the generics in India and has made waves all over the world. And now 60% of the drugs in the United States are, are, are of Indian origin. We have the vaccines, uh, and, and we have the, the doin for the vaccines, Dr. Punawala sitting here, who has uh, cont who's contributing to more than 50% of the vaccines of the world by his organization, which was established in 1966. We have Dr. Prakash Amte, human resources, the best human resources that are the best Indian doctors, one out of five doctors in the world are of Indian origin. And we have seen how Dr. Amte dedicated his life by working in the interiors of, of uh, Madhya Pradesh and, and, and taking care of people. So together with pharma, drugs, vaccines, human resources, digital health, and assistive technologies, we have to partner with the North and have South-South partnership to, to deploy these at Indian prices. Most importantly, at Indian prices, and that should become a global benchmark, that these are the prices that are for drugs, for vaccines, for medical care, for digital health, and for assistive technologies. And I think together we can. Thank you so much for your attention. Thank you very much, sir, for conclusively bringing forth the thrust areas of biomedical research being addressed by Department of Health Research and ICMR. We shall now be felicitating our distinguished awardees with the ICMR Lifetime Achievement Medals for their outstanding contribution in healthcare. We shall be playing small video clippings on the contributions of the awardees. May we have the video of Dr. Cyrus S. Punawala, please? Cyrus S. Punawala, General and Managing Director, Serial Institute of India. Dr. Cyrus S. Punawala has been the catalyst of change in the lives of millions of people across the world. He founded Serum Institute of India in 1966, which is currently the world's largest producer of vaccines, manufacturing more than 1.5 billion doses a year. It's a testament to his vision, grit, and innovative approach that Serum Institute of India protects more than two-thirds of the infant population globally and reaches to 170 countries. Through these affordable vaccines, the Institute has saved the lives of more than 40 million people globally. Dr. Punawala is also a philanthropist 
and has donated millions of dollars for public projects such as charitable schools, hospitals, public parks, and sanitation. He was awarded the Padma Shri in 2005 for his contributions in health. Dr. Punavala had inspired a lot of to run the world to approach business with a heart. May I request our Honorable Chief Guest, Mr. Bill Gates, and Professor Bharadwa to kindly step in front of the dais to do the honors of giving away the awards to the awardees. May I please invite May I please invite Dr. Cyrus Punavala to receive the ICMR Lifetime Achievement Medal. I also request Professor Bhargava to kindly present a copy of the ICMR's Collector's Edition of IJMR on Gandhi and Health at 150 to Dr. Punavala. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, may we please have the video on, uh, may I request Mr. Bill Gates to uh, be with us uh, in front of the dais only. May we please have the video on Dr. Kiran Majumdar Shaw. Founder and chairperson, Bangu from India. Kiran Majin Rakshaw is the well breaker behind India's largest oil pharmaceutical firm, Biocom India, which was founded in 1978. An entrepreneur with a knack for scientific innovation, she has invested in research infrastructure and talent with the aim of building a deep RD based biotech firm. Biocon India is the first company to gain approval from the US FDA for two different biosimilars of promise mutant certain cancer treatments. The philanthropic initiatives are empowering communities in the field of education, healthcare, and environment. She has also established the Muslim Black Shore Medical Center, which aims to create a sustainable and affordable cancer care model. This show was awarded the Padma Shri in 1989. And Bhushan in 2005. Kiran Madhun Lal Show truly represents 21st century India and the empowered women. I hereby request Dr. Kiran Madhun Lal Show to receive the ICMR medal. Thank you, sir. May we have the next video on Dr. Prakash Baba Amte? Prakash Baba Amte, founder, Lokpura Vipakal. Prakash Amte, a doctor by training and social change maker by passion, has dedicated his life to the service of people. He started the Lokpura Vipakal, a project for the development of tribal people and the betterment of wildlife of the Darjeeling region. The project provides healthcare to about 40,000 individuals annually. Dr. Arte lived in tribal areas for over two decades without electricity and water, and even executed some major surgeries without these basic necessities. He also created the animal art within their courtyard, providing a haven to deserted and injured animals. Dr. Arte was awarded for Padma Shri in 2002 and they were in the in 2008 for his achievements. India can make strength to its human capital, and we salute the spirit of Dr. Ante from working at the grassroots to create an empowered and healthier nation. Thank you very much, sir, for honoring the awardees. May we have a big round of applause congratulating our distinguished awardees. And also to thank Mr. Bill Gates, who has been very kind to visit ICMR for this ceremony. Thank you very much, sir.
I request uh, uh, Dr. Bhargav to please stay back and uh, I request His Excellency Mr. Kenneth Chester, U.S. Ambassador to India, and Mr. Hari Menon, Director, India Country Office, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, to please join us to formally present the Declaration of Intent signed between the Indian Council of Medical Research, the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases of NIH, and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to establish a clinical research fellowship program for early and mid career scientists. Thank you very much, Mr. Ambassador and Mr. Menon. As Professor Bhargava has just mentioned that the Department of Health Research and ICMR has developed the standard treatment workflows for common and serious disease conditions. May I now request the honorable dignitaries on the dais to kindly release the book on standard treatment workflows. Thank you all. We are happy to share that the Standard Treatment Workflows app goes live now and is available as a download, downloadable app on the Google Play and Apple Store and we hope that it will be very helpful for the healthcare providers. We are indeed fortunate to have Mr. Bill Gates amongst us this evening. So may I now request you, sir, to kindly grace this occasion by addressing the esteemed gathering. Well, good evening. Uh, it's a great privilege for me to be here uh, and to honor these three heroes who all contributed so much uh, to public health in India. Uh, of course, two of the awardees, uh, Dr. Punawal and Dr. Mazumdar Shah, have developed important vaccines and drugs that have made a huge difference in millions of lives. Uh, this really is something that's not only impacted, impacted India, but the entire world. Uh, Dr. Prakashante has served in remote tribal villages doing amazing research and clinical services for underserved populations. And it really, his example uh, is very inspiring and helps us to understand what we need to do uh, to improve health equity worldwide. Uh, the Gates Foundation uh, is very focused on, on health and we've had an excellent partnership with the government of India, uh, both through the Ministry of Health uh, health and the Department of Biotechnology uh, to really do research on those diseases uh, that affect the poorest in the world. Um, we're very excited about what we've achieved, uh, but there's so much more to do. Uh, we have to uh, improve malnutrition. Uh, we have to get vaccines uh, and better drugs for tuberculosis malaria and neglected diseases. Uh, all of those things I'm very optimistic about uh, because of the partnerships we have, uh, both with the private sector uh, here in India and uh, with the government, particularly uh, ICMR. The Department of Health Research, uh, which, uh, under which ICMR resides, is doing some key work on the assessment of clinical interventions. And the newly informed Medical Technology Assessment Board will play a critical role in expanding coverage of healthcare for the bottom of the pyramid. I, I'm really encouraged by this approach of health technology assessment uh, being adopted by the DHR, uh, which will really standardize uh, uh, practices. You know, India's made a, a huge contribution. Uh, the Make in India initiative, uh, you know, I think the exemplar of that really is the vaccine industry, uh, where Sarah makes more vaccines uh, than any other company in the world. And, and we've worked together with them on a number of breakthrough products, including some uh, that will come out in the next uh, few years. Uh, last year alone, 
Uh, three new vaccine products from India received approval from the World Health Organization uh, and uh, were procured, procured by UN agencies and Gavi. And, you know, vaccines alone uh, are the biggest reason why childhood death has been cut in half uh, over the last uh, 20 years. You know, it's really an amazing achievement. And in fact, uh, through partnerships like the ones being discussed today, we have a chance to cut those deaths in half again. So we've gone from 10 million a year uh, to now 5 million a year. And by 2030, if things go well, particularly with new tools and uh, better primary health care systems uh, in all these countries, we'll be able to get it down to 2.5 million a year. Uh, now, even that, you know, we, we won't stop at that. Uh, that's a little less than a 2% death rate. Uh, but, of course, in rich countries, uh, we're down below 1%. And so we'll still have another factor of two uh, to achieve really the ultimate goal, which is health equity. No matter where a children's, child is born, it shouldn't affect uh, whether they live or die. Uh, perhaps e equally important, uh, no matter where a child is born, they should develop physically and mentally uh, fully. And so the big challenges of, of malnutrition, uh, including wasting and stunting, are still in front of us. A lot to understand, a lot to do, uh, before all the children uh, can achieve their full potential, unaffected by uh, malnutrition. Uh, India is a pioneer in, in so many things. I just came back uh, from Bihar, which is a uh, area that uh, we've been in partnership with the state government there for some time. And you know, it's pleasing that uh, over the last decade, their vaccine coverage rate uh, has more than doubled uh, now to well over 80 percent. Again, we're not you know, stopping there. It should, you know, we should be able to get it up uh, to 95 percent plus, but still quite amazing. And of course, that coverage includes a lot of these amazing new vaccines uh, uh, so that the childhood health improvements are even greater uh, in the uh, northern states uh, than anywhere. So let me just close by saying that uh, working in health, uh, you know, wasn't my original career, uh, but in, in seeing the huge injustice of, of the disease pattern, uh, my wife Melinda and I made it our, our top priority. And in doing that, I, you know, I didn't know uh, all the great people I'd met, meet or all the great institutions I'd get to work with. Uh, but a lot of you here in ICMR have made uh, the health work that I do both uh, very rewarding and uh, I look forward to several more decades of incredible progress in global health working together. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir, for your valuable thoughts and for acknowledging the efforts of ICMR. Uh, may I request Professor Bhargava to pre uh, present a copy of the ICMR book on Touching Lives and also Gandhi and Health at 150 to Mr. Gates. Thank you, sir. I have a small announcement to make. After the national anthem is over, I request all our guests to please stay back uh, till our chief guest, the dignitaries on the dais, and the awardees leave the hall. Also, you all are requested to please join us for tea in the ICMR cafeteria. Once again, I take this opportunity to thank everybody to be present with us this evening. Thank you so much.
तो हमें तो खुशी हुई आप कोई और मिल रहा है तो हम साथ में चले और वहाँ पे रहे इसीलिए